Hello everyone, Dr. Friend here. Today I am going to talk about a very important topic which is cholesterol. In this video, I am going to tell you four things. Number one, what is cholesterol? Number two, what is good cholesterol? What is bad cholesterol? Number three, what lab test you have to do exactly to know which cholesterol is high in your blood? Number four, I am going to tell you how you can reduce your bad cholesterol easily or how you can increase your good cholesterol. Now, now let's see what is cholesterol. Cholesterol is nothing but a fat which is present in blood. Same type of fat which you have over your tummy, your thighs, your buttocks on your body. Similar type of fat which is there in the blood which is cholesterol. It is normally required for your body like to make hormones like your estrogen, progesterone, even cortisol. Whatever the hormones your body is making that needs cholesterol. Number two, vitamin D. If your skin is making vitamin D from sunlight, it needs cholesterol. Liver which secretes a juice called bile for digestion. This requires cholesterol. Number four, your body is made up of individual cells. Each cell has its membrane which is like covering for the cell. That covering needs cholesterol for its stability. If you don't have cholesterol, your cells will not be stable. So if you have normal level of cholesterol, it will not damage your body. In fact, it will help your body for so many functions or so many activities. Here I want to tell you one thing. It is a very big myth that if you eat fat, your cholesterol will increase. It is not like that. If you see scientifically, if you eat excess sugars, carbohydrates like rice, ragi, roti, wheat or bad fats like vegetable oils, deep frying of the food items, junk foods, these are the sources to increase your cholesterol. Not only the fat, good fats with omega-3 fatty acids will not increase your blood cholesterol. In fact, if you don't eat good fat, your body will start making cholesterol. Almost 3000 milligrams per day your body will make cholesterol. If you eat more, your body will make less. If you eat less, your body will make more. So always there is a balance. Today I am going to tell you how you can maintain a balance of cholesterol. Number two, what is good cholesterol? What is bad cholesterol? Normally what happens? Your body needs a limited amount of energy. Whatever the excess food, whatever excess you have taken, a organ called liver in your body, this will convert it into fat and stores or deposits on your body and it will distribute to entire body. For distribution of this fat to entire body, liver makes a transport vehicle called VLDL and distribute fat to fat cells and muscles. Once this VLDL distributes its triglyceride and cholesterol to fatty tissue and muscle, it is converted into LDL. Then again, the remaining part of this cholesterol and triglyceride in LDL, it is distributed to other peripheral tissues like your skin for making hormones for cell membranes. After distributing remaining part of triglyceride and cholesterol to peripheral tissues, this LDL will become fluffy or soft or large LDL. This will go back to liver or removal from your body. This is a normal cycle. HDL which is also called as a good cholesterol because what it does, it helps LDL to go back to liver. Also, it will remove the deposited fat in your arteries and organs and brings back to liver. So, HDL is called as good cholesterol. But if you see, this cycle is going normally it is required for your body like fat is going to peripheral tissue and it is coming back it's a normal cycle when it will become bad if this large or fluffy LDL which is coming back to liver get oxidized or if it becomes small then it is dangerous this oxidized or small LDL will damage your arterial wall when you see your arteries where the blood flows it will deposits in your arterial wall and it forms atherosclerosis then it leads to heart attack it leads to stroke or damage of kidneys, many other organs because it is blocking your blood vessels. The blood vessels which is supplying blood nutrients to your body will get blocked. You will have lot of problem. So if you take excess of sugars, carbohydrates, bad fats, smoking, these are the reasons why your large fluffy good LDL will be converted into small or dangerous LDL. So this is about good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Now let's see what lab test you should do to know exact cholesterol level in your blood. Mainly you should focus on small oxidized LDL which is more damaging. I have seen many patients just they will check cholesterol level, LDL level and they will start on medications. It's not like that. Do a complete profile test like advanced lipid profile test or NMR test. If you do this NMR or advanced lipid profile test, it will give you a complete picture. HDL, LDL, 
this small LDL, what is the level of this small dangerous LDL. It also gives idea regarding how much insulin resistance you have, whether you are going to get diabetes or about to get diabetes, everything. Regarding insulin resistance, I have made a detailed video, link below, you can go through it. Let us see how you can reduce your cholesterol, that is how you can reduce your bad cholesterol, how you can increase your good cholesterol. I will tell you this in three steps. Number one, lifestyle modification. Number two, what to eat. Number three, what you should not eat. Number four, supplements. What supplements you can take to reduce your cholesterol. Number one, lifestyle modification. In lifestyle modification, number one, intermittent fasting and healthy keto. If you do intermittent fasting and healthy keto, definitely your bad cholesterol will come down, your good cholesterol will go up. Regarding intermittent fasting and healthy keto, I have made a detailed video. I have given a link below. You can go through that. Intermittent fasting is nothing but you are fasting for at least 15 to 16 hours so that your bad cholesterol will be used. It will come down. Your good cholesterol will increase. Regarding healthy keto, you should eat only 100 grams of carbohydrates per day, not more than that. And moderate amount of protein. That means if you are taking two meals, at least 100 grams or 150 grams per meal, you should take proteins. Number three, you should take good fats. If you take good fat, your bad cholesterol will come down. I have made a detailed video on oils. I have given a link below. Just go through what is good oil, what is bad oil. Next thing is, you should stop smoking. If you stop smoking, your bad cholesterol will come down and your good cholesterol will increase. Now, the second thing is, we will see what you should eat to increase your good cholesterol, decrease your bad cholesterol. Number one, garlic. Garlic you should take every day. One or two whole garlic. Number two, cinnamon, one teaspoon of cinnamon every day, either sprinkle over your salad or take one teaspoon of cinnamon and make a tea and drink it. Number three, fiber. If you eat more fiber containing foods, then your cholesterol will come down like vegetables. If you eat more vegetables, your cholesterol level will come down. Number four, magnesium. You need magnesium. Magnesium will also come from green vegetables. So you should eat lot of vegetables. Whatever the fresh seasonal vegetables which are available in the market, you should eat it every day. Number five, flax seeds. If you eat one spoon of flax seed every day, this is definitely going to help you. Number six, fish. Fish either boil it or cook in the form of curry. Don't deep fry it. Number seven, avocado. Avocado is also a very good food. Either take two spoons every day or whole avocado also you can take every day. Number eight, oils. Regarding oils, MCT oil, coconut oil, olive oil. These are good oils you should take every day. Number nine, pistachios. You can take pistachios every day. This is about what you should eat. Now let's see what are the supplements which will fix your cholesterol problem. Number one, niacin or vitamin B3. You can take every day. But the problem is you will get flush for one or two hours. It's okay, but it will control your bad cholesterol. It will increase your HDL. Number two, psyllium husk. Take one teaspoon of psyllium husk in one glass of water. Start with one teaspoon of psyllium husk in one glass of water every day. Later, you can make it one tablespoon of psyllium husk in one glass of water every day. One time is enough. Number three, milk thistle. Milk thistle you can take every day, 400 to 600 milligram per day. This will not only control your cholesterol, but it will also control your blood sugars. Number four, cod liver oil. Every day you should take one capsule of cod liver oil. So guys, in this video, I have told you what is cholesterol, what is bad cholesterol, how you can increase your good cholesterol, decrease your bad cholesterol. And guys, the take home message for you is first do advanced or NMR lipid profile. Know your cholesterol level and start whatever I have told you. Change your lifestyle and eat the things what I have suggested you. Start intermittent fasting and healthy keto. Eat the things which I have told you in this video and take the supplements. Repeat your test or do your test after three months. You will see a lot of change. You will see your bad cholesterol will come down. Your good cholesterol will increase. You can prevent yourself from getting heart attack, stroke and many other problems. And guys, if you need any other information, write in my comment section. And if you find my video informative, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.